What's going on y'all? We are out here today fishing the Mobile Bay Kayak Fishing Association Flounder Pound Tournament. We are looking for three flounder today. Hopefully we can get three flounder over 18. We're gonna have to see how it goes. We got some horrible conditions, black skies behind us, storms approaching, and we have almost zero tidal movement today. So, don't really know how it's gonna shape out. Real quick, show y'all the kayak that I am in. I'm in the Hobie Lynx because this tournament does not allow the use of motors, so I can't use my old town in this tournament. Uh, don't have any electronics or anything like, like that on this kayak. So pretty much just going back to basics with it and uh, trying to find these fish. Y'all stay tuned, see if we can make it happen. All right, we're gonna start off using the Southern Salt Hoodwink White Mineral of Death. I will link these down below. These are my own personal lure, and I have smashed a ton of flounder this year on it. So hopefully we can find some, find some fish with it. That uh, might be him. Got him. Be a flounder. <laughs> All right, well, that is the first flounder of the morning right here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Caught that on a dirty boxer. And I'll explain why I made the swap in just a second. <laughs> we are going to a uh, take a picture of this guy I don't think there's any size limit on what they got to be uh, to weigh them in it is a CPR tournament and well it might not be a great start but it is a start if he flops off it ain't the end of the world here all right well starting it off with an 11 and a half inch flounder right there hi right, buddy see you later man <laughs> all right so Check it out. We swapped over to the Fish Bites Dirty Boxer and mainly because the water right here is normally really clear and it is dirty, very, very dirty. We also don't have any tidal movement today through the hoodwink up and down these banks, didn't get any bites on it. So I wanted to opt for something a little bit brighter, something that had some built-in scent uh, that could probably entice those flounder to get on the trail and then also has that long curly tail so in this dirty water it's displacing a little bit more water um i guess i get my overall kind of thought process is throwing a lure out there that i can really just kind of entice those flounder to bite um in in these poor conditions All right, so there's some rock jetties around the back side. Am I allowed to fish that area? No, that's, that's fine. Just don't get too close to the ship or we'll cut across. Okay. 50 yards away is more than I got you. Okay, but yeah, as soon as you get to So a little background on what just happened. I was heading over awesome. to one of my Thanks, A man. spots where I found several big flounder about two weeks ago. However, a Navy ship pulled in and they had a security perimeter set up and that security boat kind of intercepted me heading over to that spot, said I couldn't fish there and that I had to go around the back side of the shipyard. Got him, biggin', there we go. That's the one, get the net ready. Ah, uh, he ain't that big, he came up, looked like a giant though. That's still a good one, there we go, all right. Flounder number two, man, came up right there and just smoked it. Woo, let's go, y'all. Starting to get on fire. I'll say that, it has been a long time since our last bite, long time. We actually made another lure swap, something to very similar, but a little bit more durable. We are throwing the gulp four inch grub right there that one should be over 16 inches there we go get our net put up very very dangerous measuring these fish on this kayak because i have no gunnels 
if my fish flops off the board and lands on the kayak he's just as good as gone so very dangerous transition right here just like that how'd that even happen shit all right well that's what i'm talking about right there y'all <sighs> that stings i guess i didn't have my grips in them good enough <sighs> back to work the sooner we shake that off the sooner we can get back to work um just to show y'all so this is the gulp four inch grub right here this is what i was throwing and uh as you can see a little bit brighter a little bit more scent on it and this i mean you just just get shredded i went through a whole pack of these right here and only caught that one uh little flounder on it so made the swap over to the gulp and uh that was a horrible cast yeah anyways made the swap over to the gulp and uh just hooked my biggest flounder of the morning that flopped off the kayak just as i was saying that that was a possibility almost like i talked it into existence or something <sighs> let's go good thump there he is all right well that is our third flounder <laughs> uh i don't think i had the second one on camera i caught a 10 and three quarter inch flounder and this one right here ain't much bigger ain't much bigger at all yeah all right that's 11 11 and a half but that is gonna fill our three fish bag and the good thing is it ain't gonna be hard to cull all right, see you dude all right y'all so it is going on one o'clock now we've been at it since 6 a.m it has been extremely tough been going at it since 6 a.m and uh we got four hours left but here's the deal we're about to make a swap i'm gonna fish one more area then we're gonna go load up head to a new area the tide is gonna start to fall a little bit around three o'clock the major is from one to three o'clock. So we're gonna try to get in our best area to catch some fish. Um, we're not giving up. We got three flounder in the bag. We're sitting in sixth place right now. We're way out from first. First place is Bun Kev. He's got a 19 and a half inch flounder and two 17 inch flounder. And it kind of just trickles down from there. But I'm in sixth place. Uh, realistically, if I can finish this thing somewhere, top five, top four, I'm going to be sitting uh, pretty good at making the top seven for the year. So we got to improve our position. Let's go find some fish. We just made our move. We're in a brand new spot, loaded up, relaunched. And so far, the fish that I've found have been on rocks. And I've hit a ton of marsh. Really haven't found a whole lot around marsh grass now all that's going to change here in the next hour hour and a half because that tide's going to start falling when that tide starts falling i'm gonna head back up into the marsh and try to uh focus on some creek channels and areas around there but right now it's kind of that tide is just a little stale we got a little fake tide a little fake current because we got some wind that's kicked up blowing water into the bayou here but as a whole there's just not a lot of water movement right now so we're gonna work down these rock jetties hopefully pick up a couple stragglers that might be a flounder set it down got them that's gonna be a flounder <laughs> oh my god <laughs> we ain't even gonna put him on the board that's another flounder and another one about the same size just cannot get away from the small ones y'all Ah, keep on grinding all right so y'all check it out my drive down there is hanging on by a thread the cable is just about snapped completely off on my drive so now i gotta baby it coming down through here still got three hours left in the tournament and i'm in a kayak that i gotta limp around in if i have to i can break out my paddle if it snaps all the way but man talk about our luck today everything from 
the fish jumping off uh security boats stopping us and telling us to get out of the area and then my drive snapping and then really just complete lack of activity you know just not getting the bikes today we still got time though we can't give up yet just gotta keep on grinding just got dumped got one on he's on there we go that's gonna be a redfish all right not what we're looking for you fooled me fella be free bye bye maybe a flounder <laughs> we're getting smaller we're getting smaller <laughs> oh my goodness dude you can't do nothing but laugh at this y'all what is going on here give me a big flounder or anything I, just a legal one <laughs> man this has got to be a record uh, i think that's trash fish this has got to be a record for the most flounder caught on hook and line under 12 inches i mean just unreal today got something on there we trout well we got a slam <laughs> a little micro slam <laughs> not the target not the target at all all right let's go something on micro flounder <laughs> micro flounder number eight there he is again there he is tiny flounder missed another tiny one that's actually the first one we've missed today I'm gonna take a positive away from this y'all we have hooked in the last 30 minutes we've hooked at least four flounder so although they're tiny at least there are fish that are biting and my focus is going towards as long as this drive holds up and I can get in here and fish thoroughly I should be able to find a decent fish that's where my mind is going right now that's where I'm finding positivity and that fish are biting that's a flounder there he is there he is that's a better one ah <sighs> dang it keep going two hours left y'all <sighs> that was a good one man well that is going to do it for today's event i believe i finished somewhere around 10th or 11th in this event it's not good not good at all i mean we caught a lot of fish we also made a lot a lot of mistakes which have been you know just to be honest i'm having the worst year this year uh than i've had since 2016. this has been one of the worst years i've had competitively in the last seven years or so um and it's just this just comes down to me making bad decisions and and then not fishing clean uh today we had to persevere over a lot of things started off this morning storms just pounding down on us so we couldn't get straight out to the spot that we wanted to go to because uh you know obviously i didn't want to cross a whole bunch of open water and i really didn't know what the storms were going to do um had an encounter with security guy didn't want me coming in too close to where i wanted to fish at so ended up going around fishing some rocks the first decent flounder that i hooked had him in the net in the boat grips in his mouth got off the kayak don't don't know how that happened i guess i'll see it whenever i play the footage back but that happened uh end up making a spot change and hook a really really big flounder never saw it but it was a good one it was holding down doing everything that a flounder should do probably a 19 incher so had i fished clean we'd be sitting really really good in this event um 
and overall in the standings i don't i don't really know what this is going to do for us i think it's going to come down to our next event we got one more event left for the year and if we do well in that event we might make the top seven and get to compete in the finale uh if not then our season is going to be over uh, but a positive is even in the face of all of that stuff happening throughout the day we never gave up we kept our head down we kept on grinding we kept on pushing it might not have happened for us but we didn't give up and um, the end result, we probably landed 10 flounder, a trout, and a redfish today. Uh, no keepers. <laughs> oh, man, that's crazy. You catch 12 fish, and they're all dinks. But anyways, hope y'all still enjoyed this video. Uh, and if y'all would, leave a like, comment, subscribe. We'll see y'all next time.